City officials turned the main lobby of the City County Building downtown into an exhibit featuring photographs and other memorabilia showcasing the musical heritage of African Americans in Pittsburgh. During the exhibit's opening reception, Dr. Nelson Harrison of the Pittsburgh Jazz Network was on hand to discuss the impact of African Americans and music. Jazz music is the only art form that was named a national treasure by the United States Congress. The only art form. And here we have a mother load right here in Pittsburgh. The reception included a performance by national singer-songwriter Joy Ike, who says she understands the importance of celebrating music. I think it's just beautiful for Pittsburgh to be able to acknowledge um, the fact that arts is such a huge part of their community and that the African-American um, arts and culture um, is a staple for the community, that it's not an afterthought, but it's um, a necessary part of the community. Laura Vonner Norman is the general manager of WAMA 100 and says Pittsburgh has a rich history of music. If it wasn't for the jazz musicians having a, a catalyst here for us in the city of Pittsburgh, we wouldn't have the R&B legends like the Phyllis Hyman and the George Bensons that led way to the current Wiz Khalifas and Mac Millers. The City of Rhythm exhibit is free and open to the public and runs until February 29th, weekdays from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. For more information, visit cityparks.net. I'm Allegra Johnson for UrbanMediaToday.com.